Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy. We got a little AT&T face-off for you today between the Samsung Infuse 4G, which is being released this Sunday, May 15th, up against the old faithful Apple iPhone 4. Don't forget to stop by SmartphoneEnvy.com, check out my winner of today's face-off, along with a written review, photos and videos taken from both of today's contestants. If you're watching this on YouTube, simply click on the link in the description, it'll get you over to Smartphone Envy. Pronto tanto. All right, what do you say we kick off our face off? The Samsung Infuse 4G, quad band GSM, tri band 3G, AT&T's 4G connectivity, weighs in at 139 grams. It's the heavier of the two, but not by a heck of a lot. As far as build quality, you've got Gorilla Glass, you've got a metal rim that encompasses the entire display and a portion of the back of the phone as well. Battery cover is made out of a very thin rubbery plastic as you can see there brownish in color whole phone overall considering its size is, is quite thin uh, battery is a 1750 milli milliamp hour battery rated at eight hours of talk time micro SD card slot is underneath the battery so it's not hot swappable here's your sim card slot speaker for the phone is down here in the lower left hand corner pop this back on and it's a matter of like the Galaxy S just making sure you secure it all the way around all right upper middle top you've got the 8 megapixel camera and LED flash up on top is a microphone as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right hand side is the power and lock key on the bottom is the micro USB port as well as another microphone and on the left hand side is your volume rocker up and down alright old faithful Apple's iPhone 4 quad band GSM quad band 3G no 4G connectivity weighs in at 135 grams so it's actually only 4 grams lighter than the infused 4G behemoth Build quality is outstanding. You've got composite glass both front and back. Nice accents, nice little chrome Apple logo. And then you've got a metal band that encompasses the entire phone itself, as you can see there. As far as the battery, you've got a 1420 milliamp hour battery rated at seven hours of talk time. Upper left is your camera and LED flash. Up on top, three and a half millimeter headphone jack along with a power and lock key. On the right hand side is the SIM card cover slot. On the bottom of the microphone, speaker, as well as the port for charging, syncing, and transferring data. And on the left-hand side, you've got volume buttons up and down, as well as a mute switch. All right, let's talk cameras. The Infuse 4G offers an 8-megapixel camera with autofocus, LED flash, geotagging, touch focus, as well as face and smile detection. Video capture is 720p. On the iPhone 4, you get a 5-megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash. Also offers touch focus, geotagging. Video capture is also 720p. All right, let's take a look at the displays on both. And get those bad boys lined up for you. All right, the Infuse 4G, 4.5-inch Super AMOLED Plus capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels. Offers an accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, as well as multi-touch. Upper left front facing camera for video calls. Below the display, you've got four touch sensitive keys. Main menu key, home key, back key, and search key. I don't know if I mentioned it's a 1.3 megapixel camera upper left for video calls. All right, iPhone 4, three and a half inch IPS TFT capacitive touch display showing 640 by 960 pixels. Accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, as well as multi-touch. Also offers a three axis gyro sensor. Has a front facing VGA camera above the display for video calls. Also has one physical key, a home key, below the display as far as keys go. All right, as far as memory goes, Samsung Infuse 4G, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, 512 megabytes of RAM. You can expand internal storage an additional 32 gigabytes with the use of a micro SD card. I think it comes with a 2 gigabyte micro SD card pre-installed. Uh, iPhone 4, 16 or 32 gigabyte models as far as internal storage. Also comes with 512 megabytes of RAM. Wi-Fi, 802.11bgnn. On both, the Infuse 4G also offers DLNA and HDMI out. They both have Bluetooth. The Infuse 4G offers version 3.0 with support for A2DP, iPhone 4 version 2.1. Both have GPS with support for AGPS. Both phones can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. Processor on the Infuse 4G is a 1.2 gigahertz ARM Cortex-A8. On the iPhone 4, it's a 1 gigahertz ARM Cortex-A8. Operating system on the Infuse is Android 2.2 Froyo with Samsung's TouchWiz 3.0 UI overlay. And on the iPhone 4, it's Apple's iOS 4. All right, I'm gonna try a little gaming on our two contestants here. We'll run Asphalt 5 first.
Oh, I know I'm gonna find the road. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Not bad considering I'm looking through a. Oh, that's what I get for opening my mouth. Kind of good look at the road here, huh? All right, that's the Infuse 4G iPhone 4. You guys, doing better without me driving. This isn't easy to do through a camera, but I'm getting better at it. All right, so there's a look at Asphalt 5. All right, let's take a look at Angry Birds on both, and we'll start with the iPhone 4, and I have switched them around. I didn't want anybody to think I was being unfair to one versus the other as far as lighting or where they sat. Well, I'm good with the iPhone 4. Let's try the uh, Infuse 4G. Oh, I'm even better with that. That's my level. One shot and I'm done. I like those. The birds are screaming. All right, I hate this one. Never seem to do very well. Ooh, I'm on a roll. What do we got up here? Oh, I thought we were done up there. That doesn't look good. All right, buddy. Take him out for me. Oh, look at... I'm on fire and El Fuego. All right, I think that... Oh! Get a ride. All right, well, there's a look at Angry Birds, and you can see how talented I'm getting at playing these games after... Uh, this is my second time. Look at that. Just knocking those levels down, folks. All right, let's run our... YouTube comparison. See how well they do spooling up and playing videos and the video quality. I've got them both running off the same Wi-Fi network and I have the Infuse 4G set to default playback in HQ. So let's go. Guys, Michael Bolton is here. Oh great, send him in. Hey guys. Hey. Really sorry I'm late. I just got caught up watching the Pirates of the Caribbean marathon. Have you seen those things? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, are, those are great. Well, I listened to your track, and I loved it. And I wrote you this big, sexy hook. I think you did a real oh, dig. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's great. Right. You want to just lay it down? Boys, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, there's a look at one. Let's take a look at another one. Let's try a 12 gauge. And we're off. That seemed like anybody wants to play. Oh, there we go. Hello, my friend. Snap is Russia again, and I've got a nice video for you today. Um, I have a few volunteers for this one. I've got Jerry, and I've got Mike, and uh, they're going to help to show off some specialty 12 gauge shotgun rounds. I've got my Remington 887 here. I've got a nice little paint job on that. And, uh, so we've got some flechette rounds, which are tiny darts. We've got uh, all right, we should be getting the, I don't know why the, I know that'll play, but usually it doesn't start until it's fully buffered, otherwise it'll stop while it's playing, so let's play one more. And here we go, talking dog, and we're off. Let's see if we get the iPhone 4 to work this time. What's happening, guys? You gotta check out this video of this guy running onto the field in a Red Sox game. <laughs> All right, there's a look at our YouTube comparison. The Infuse 4G definitely spooled up and played uh, the videos quite a bit quicker than the iPhone 4. As far as picture quality, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. You've got the Retina display up on top and the iPhone 4 and the Super AMOLED Plus display of the Infuse 4G on the bottom. All right, the Infuse offers AT&T's 4G connectivity, their HSPA Plus. So I thought I'd take a look at the difference between the two. And it's something that I just noticed, I've got Wi-Fi turned on on both of them. Obviously, we have to get rid of that. So let me turn Wi-Fi off on both. There's one. Let's go back here to settings, Wi-Fi off. 
All right, there we go. Find a current. All right, let's start this out and see how we do. Again, I don't get a lot of signal. I've got three bars on the Infuse. I've got two on the iPhone 4. Let's see how we do. Well, download the iPhone 4. It's just kicking some butt today. Infuse is trying to come back. 13 to 14. Look at that. Download speed was better on the iPhone 4 than on the Infuse 4G. Upload speeds, they both look as if they both suck. Again, we'll run a few of these. Yeah, and they both suck. But the, eight, the uh, iPhone 4 showed better upload and download speeds. Let's see if the Infuse can wake up and actually... I don't think it looks any different as the, the Infuse is doing the same thing again. A little bit better. The iPhone's just not quite getting it this time. The Infuse is about twice as fast on that particular run. And again, upload and is just horrendous on both. iPhone 4 outperformed it. Upload. Definitely not download. We'll try one more. There we go. There we go. Now that looks like 4G speeds, or at least getting close on the Infuse 4G. Ended up at 23. It was up around 3 at one point. iPhone 4, we seem to have gotten very lucky that first time because we've been going downhill ever since. As far as upload speeds though, its upload speeds are well beyond that of the Infuse 4G and I thought the Infuse had been, um, was supposed to come out without the, uh, without the upload issue but it doesn't look like it has. Um, so anyway, there's a look at download and upload speeds on the uh, Infuse 4G versus the iPhone 4. Alright, let's see if these sexy AT&T smartphones can find where they're going. Getting a little hungry here. Navigate to Corner Bakery. All right, we'll pick that one. Turn left onto Cavain Way, then turn left onto La Venta Road. Head southwest on Lansburn Circle toward Cavain Way. Then turn left onto Coffeine Way. All right, as you can see, I'm going to put that on mute. As you can see, we had no problems with the Infuse 4G. We'll go into search here, and I've put it in already. Otherwise, we'd have to wait an hour for me to type it out. And there's one of them. Let's see if I can find the other one. Yeah, there's the one we went to. All right, we'll get our route. Now we're not going to get voice guided turn by turn navigation, which is a shame, but we are going to get a route. So you can see it's 18.1 miles, 23 minutes away. And we hit start, and it will show us here as we drive. Give us our route turn by turn. So no voice guided, but we get a nice route and again through Google Maps, and it's free on both of these phones. There's no cost in running either one of these. So there's a look at navigation. Well, one other thing I wanted to take a look at since we're here, let's look at maps real quick. You've got a nice, nice big four and a half inch screen, and you can see you can multi touch, pinch to zoom. Takes a minute to redraw, but not too bad. All right, let's go over here on the iPhone, and we're going to look at satellite. Let that draw in, and again, we've got pinch to zoom as well. Let's zoom in. Let it refocus. There we go. Looks good with that slick little display. Zoom back out. Let it redraw. So it redraw quite as fast, but pretty close. Anyway, they both work very, very well as far as navigation, although you don't get the uh, voice guided turn by turn on the iPhone 4.